everything's an opportunity, Andy. Everything. Everyone, every person, in the gas station, at lunch, in the dealership, at the gym, everyone is an opportunity. Is that you? Is that you? Or are you just kind of rolling? When do you train? Right now, at the top of your, your, your notebook, write down, when do I train? I need you to identify a time. If I was to ask, when do you go to the gym? You, you wouldn't say, well, sometimes in the morning, sometimes at night. Some, well, that means sometimes you don't go because shit comes up and you don't get to go. Does that make sense? If that's what your answer is, you're not always going to get to go because if you say, hey, I'm going to start today, but I'm, gonna, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go in the morning, but I'm going to go tonight, but then tonight, you have five customers show up, you're not going to go tonight. You're just not gonna go because you're gonna stay because you're a businessman and you're, you're gonna stay and work those deals. And then you're not gonna go, and then, and then by the way, because you get out of work late, you're like, well, I'll just go after work. Well, then you got, you, your wife and kids are waiting on you. What are you gonna do, not go see them? No, of course you're gonna go see them. And then you're not gonna go. And then you're not gonna like yourself because you didn't go to the gym. So if you don't decide when you're gonna go to the gym and you're not gonna stick to it, you're not gonna go. So many of you guys are like, hey, I'm gonna try to train today in the morning or at lunch or at night. Ah, that's why you don't train. That's why you don't get better. And some of you guys don't like the word training, okay? Self-improvement, leveling up, going to the next gear, training, call whatever the hell you want, okay? When are you going to spend time to work on you? Work on you. When are you going to work on you? You, 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 and you. Not on the business, okay? Not on your family, not on your, your physical. You, all around. Everything that has to do with your inner me, your inner self. Every single day, everybody follow me real quick before we get into this. Every single day, if you guys will focus on who you are becoming and who you are here, you guys will be savages, dude. Do you know? Do you know why people get broke? Do you know why people give up? Do you know why people struggle? People struggle because they don't have a strong inner me. Inner me. Me. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Listen to me, the world outside is loud, it's noisy, it's telling you who you are, what you can do, what you can do, what you can become. How loud is the inner me? Because that shit has got to be louder than the outside world. And when the inner me is louder than the outside, and, and hey, and how many of you right now, how many of you right now, your internal core isn't screaming at you all day long, let's go baby. Let's go, man. You're the man. Let's go. Come on. You're going to kill it. You're going to crush it. You're going to close that deal. Get on that phone, baby. Dude, I promise you, if somebody even looks at the phone, you're going to sell them. Man, if somebody walks by, by the showroom floor and they even look at them, they're going to get a drink of water and they look at you. You're going to go sell them. Everything's an opportunity, Andy. Everything. Everyone, every person, in the gas station, at lunch, in the dealership, at the gym, everyone is an opportunity. Is that you? Is that you? Or are you just kind of rolling? By the way, listen to me. You think I'm, I'm telling you some stupid stuff here? Let's just go through and audit your last year. Is that cool? Let's audit. Let's all do an audit. All right, ready? We're going to do an audit, then we're going to start training because I want to see if I can get your attention. So do me a favor. Write down how much money you got in the bank. Right? How much money you got in the bank? So write it down, how much money you have in your ATM account. All right. Now next to that, I want you to write down house. Okay? Write down how much money you owe in debt on your home. Now if you don't owe, put I'm renting. Okay? Because our whole goal would be to get you to own your own home so it's, it's paid for. And next to that, put cars. How much money do you owe on your cars? 20 grand, 30 grand, 100 grand, zero. You drive a beater or you drive a nice car and it's paid off cash. Next that, write credit cards. Okay? And then just write debt. How much debt you got? How much how much money you owe other people on credit cards and you know just stupid stuff, right? Like anything else. Okay? 
right, now listen. Now do me a favor. I want you to look at how much money you got in the bank, and I want you to put your eyes on it. I want you to look at it. And I want you to go over to your debt, and I want you to add that debt real quick. 300 grand house, 100 grand in cars, 50 grand in credit cards, 450 grand in debt. Can your ATM pay off your debt today? I need, I need, listen to me. I want you to understand why would you pay attention on this call? Why would you train? Why would you listen to me? Why? Well, because I'm an underdog. In underdogs, I believe in the inner me, the story I tell me is that underdog smash Goliaths every day of the year. I smash people that are better and bigger than me every single day because I have a strong inner me and I'm cheering myself on every single day. And I train in the dark at night. So if you want to know when Andy Elliott trains, I train at night. I study at night. Every night, my wife gets in the shower around 9.30. She does her stuff. She picks out her clothes the next day. She, she gives me about an hour, an hour and a half while she's doing her stuff. By 11, she comes into bed. From that hour, hour, an hour and a half while she's doing that, I could be sitting there with her in the bathroom just doing this, but I'm studying. I'm working on me. I'm working to become an admirable man for her so she can see me growing every day. Now when she comes in, boom, we'll watch some TV, we'll play around, you know, like adults do, right? We'll, we'll hang out. And then guess what? Back up at 4.30 again the next morning. Some of you guys are like, when do you sleep? When I die. And I know you're like, that's not healthy for you. Do I look f***ing healthy? I don't know. I hear people all the time, that's not healthy. I'm like, dude, you're overweight, I'm not. I sleep five hours a night, you sleep nine. Sleep more? Come on, man, what are you talking about? I'm 43, okay? I eat clean, drink a lot of water, and I, and I got a dream. Oh, maybe that's why I'm alive, because I don't even want to sleep. Sometimes, guys, I go to bed at night, and I don't even want to go to bed. But I just try to so I can wake up the next morning and get to do it again. Some of you are like, dude, I just need sleep. I'm exhausted. What are you exhausted for? You don't have anything you're working towards. That's why you're fucking tired. Am I right? Raise your hand if you know I'm right. Okay, I know, I know, I know. Some of you guys got broken arms and, or you don't have dreams. One or the other. I'd rather have a broken arm. Hey guys, I just want to tell you the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with a friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are, set your notifications, and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.